I'm Rod from Wright State University, and you gotta read this article. multi-center, open-label, parallel group, randomized controlled superiority trial, 249 patients over the age of 18 years diagnosed with acute pancreatitis according to the revised Atlanta classification were randomized into either an aggressive fluid resuscitation group or a moderate fluid resuscitation group. The aggressive resuscitation group received a bolus of LR at a dose of 20 mils per kg over two hours, followed by a rate of three mils per kg per hour, while the moderate group got LR at a rate of 1.5 mils per kg per hour after either a 10 mil per kg bolus or actually no bolus at all. Now patients were evaluated at the 12, 24, 48, and 72 hour mark. The primary outcome was the development of moderately severe or severe pancreatitis during their hospitalization. So what did they do at all the checkpoints? Well, they evaluated the patients and decided that they could have a diet if they had a low intensity of abdominal pain on their patient reported outcome scale in acute pancreatitis, also known as the PAN PROMISE score. And then the fluids could be stopped if the patient tolerated their diet or if they developed fluid overload. So what did they find? There's actually no significant difference in the development of moderately severe or severe pancreatitis between the aggro group and the moderate group. The aggressive group also stayed in the hospital for one day longer than the moderate group, which in the United States, one hospital day is like a lot of money. The aggressive group also did have a significantly higher risk of developing fluid overload. Actually about 20.5% of the aggressive group got fluid overload, while 6.3% of those in the moderate group got fluid overload. They actually had to stop the trial early because there's no significant difference in the primary outcome, but there's a really dangerous difference in the safety of continuing this trial. So that settles it, right? Like you're gonna stop drowning these patients with pancreatitis? Well, hold up. First of all, the study was underpowered because they had to stop early. And you could argue that even the moderate group got a lot of fluids. It was like five and a half liters in 48 hours. I mean, you ever drink that much in two days? Actually, don't, don't answer that. Plus, if you ask me, the exclusion criteria is like hella strict. Look at this. So basically, if you aren't sick sick with pancreatitis, then I guess you don't need that much fluids. But next time you have a patient with pancreatitis and you're looking at their chart through Epic, I mean, ask yourself, would, would this patient even be included in the study? Either way, it's fair to say that this study is another important challenge to long held medical dogma. So what do you think? Did this study change your mind? Are you gonna treat pancreatitis differently now? Well, let me know in the comments. And if you want more article reviews just like this, like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. But until then, I'll see you in the next case.